Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. This is Tambor, and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Apologies, I've not been making videos as I was not well. You can probably tell from my voice, but I'm now I'm back. And today's video, I want to talk because I was just having a discussion with a friend of mine, and this person wants to go get into cybersecurity. And he's done a lot of certifications. And that's the question he was asking me, Kim. How come I'm not getting any job? I've done these certification, XYZ certifications, and he's not able to get a job, unfortunately. And he was very disheartened, very discouraged about that. And he said this statement that are like cybersecurity certifications dead in 2024. So that's the topic of this video today. And I really want to give my opinion on the current state of cybersecurity certifications. Is it worth it going through all that trouble uh, getting certified, making like spending all that time and money, and still you're not getting a job, right? So what's the current state of cybersecurity certifications? So this is like a, a common question I get asked. Almost every coaching session, every person I try to help, they usually do ask this question. And I'm going to be very clear. Um, this article is not about bashing cybersecurity certifications. I'm completely against that. I think certifications are very, very important, like the CSSP, CISM, AWS, what a technical or non-technical, right? They are a very important way for you to get like a systematic way of getting knowledge and demonstrating that you have the baseline knowledge, right? For getting into a particular field like penetration testing, like risk assessments or like IT auditing like the CISA, right? But, and this is like a big but, uh, they are no longer a guaranteed ticket to landing a job. Just because you have a certification, it does not guarantee that you will land a job. I got CISSP certified uh, I think 20, uh, like in 2005, right? Almost uh, like 19 years ago, my God, like in 19 years ago, right? And I was getting job offers like crazy. I got the CISA in 2004, CSP 2005. Very few people had those certifications. You could get a job offer literally the next week of, of getting like certified. That's how much in demand it was. But those days are gone. Uh, and getting the CISSP or the CISA or the CISA or whatever certification you have, that is an amazing achievement. Please, I'm not, I'm not downplaying the effort which you have, but they no longer make you stand out. They are millions and millions of people, other people who are also certified. So becoming a certification factory, that means that you're doing cert after cert, right? You do one cert, then you do another cert. They, that will only waste your time and money. And I can tell you as somebody who has reviewed thousands and thousands of CVs, right? The thousands of people I've reviewed to, throughout my career, too many certifications of your C, on your CV they start to blend together, blur together, and they don't make you stand out, right? So that, that's what I wanted to talk about. What can you do? Okay, you've done a certification. You're looking for a job. To land that cyber security job, you need to stack two more things on top of that certification. And the first one is practical hands-on skills. And the second one is a strong personal brand, okay? The first one is practical hands-on skills. Uh, companies no longer want people who have just have book knowledge, right? Just because you've memorized the CSSP prep guide, or the CSAM, or the CEH, or the CompTIA Security Plus, right? Uh, people, the, the companies are no longer just interested in people who have memorized, like who can, uh, you know, just uh, parrot out cybersecurity concepts. They want people who can demonstrate that ability to handle real world security challenges, right? This means getting hands on with, and you're getting your hands dirty with actual tools and technologies that are being used in the industry. You might ask how to get that. There are multiple ways of doing that. There are many platforms. You can participate and capture the flag competitions. You can contribute to open source security. You can create an open lab, like a home lab, right? To practice and get hands on cybersecurity tools. These activities will build your skills and show the employees that you can apply your knowledge to practical scenarios. It's not just book knowledge. I made a recent video on how to get a cloud security experience without a job, right? They are completely free. You can set up a home lab. You can get tooling to do cloud security scans. And then you can go on websites like Fiverr, Upwork, and get testimonials for your skills. So, right. So, very important. On top of your cybersecurity, you need to stack real-world experience and skills, especially if you are fresher and you're starting out, because that is the one thing which will be against you, right? That is the one thing which will be clashing against you. It will be hitting you, and people will be asking, you don't have any experience. That is one way of getting that hands-on experience. Okay, the second one is, and this is if you have a little bit of experience, maybe you have five to 10 years experience. So you have certification, you have experience. What else can you do? Uh, to make yourself stand out, you can create a strong personal brand within the industry. 
people think having a brand means like being on Instagram, on TikTok. No, you can be on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not just about having a polished LinkedIn profile, right? It's about showcasing your expertise, sharing your insights, building a reputation. You can write LinkedIn posts. I've written about this many, many times. You can create, write, uh, write a blog, write a new LinkedIn newsletter. You can create a medium blog. Uh, you can teach, right? You can go on uh, YouTube like this channel. You can create a YouTube channel, start teaching, write Udemy courses, right? That you can do. Uh, you can go on Twitter, whatever uh, platform you are comfortable with. You can go there and start creating your own brand. I have a book which I've written on like how to become a LinkedIn top voice. You can start doing that. And why, why does that matter? Because that, again, that makes you stand out. If there are two CVs in front of me, both of them are equal, but one person, he says, I have like a five Udemy courses on cybersecurity, or I have a, like a, uh, what do you call, I'm a LinkedIn top voice, or I have a LinkedIn newsletter with like 10,000 people who following me. That makes you stand out, right? Especially in today's industry, where, where social proof is very, very important. Testimonials are very, very important. So this is what I wanted to tell you. Get certified. On top of that, get hands-on experience if you're fresher using the tips I've told you. And on top of that, create your own personal branding in the industry. Now is the, it's so easy to do it nowadays. You really don't have any excuse, okay? So, uh, so coming back to the original question, right? Are cybersecurity certifications dead? The answer is no, but their role has evolved. They are no longer that golden ticket. You know, you have that certification, you will get a job. They no longer make you stand out in a crowded job market. You need to complement them with practical experience and a strong personal brand. If you rely solely on certifications, you will keep applying and not get a job, right? So use them at milestones, but they are not the end goal. They have to be part of your broader learning strategy. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful. I also have a complete course on how to succeed and land land a cybersecurity job. I'll put it here. Okay. You can if you want further like uh, hands-on tips and strategies, I put everything I know there. I it's very difficult for me to do that coaching because it books up very, very fast. But this course is everything I know about cybersecurity career, how to be successful in it. So you can take a look at that if you want more information about how that my YouTube channel has a lot of videos. But if you want to dive deep further, take a look at that course also. So I hope this was useful to you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.